You're multiplying these rational expressions. You know, rational just means like ratio, like it's a, a fraction. And just like you learned about fractions before, what you do is you multiply the numerators together and then the denominators together, and then you reduce. But there's another technique you can do where you uh, reduce numerator and denominator, or on the diagonals, numerator and denominator. As long as the factors are the same, you can cancel them out. So I'll show you how this works. First step is to factor as much as you can. So the first one, you can see this first numerator, we can factor this to x minus 4 times x plus 3. Okay, whereas the denominator, this is a difference of two squares, we can factor this as x plus 5 times x minus 5. Same thing over here, this denominator is a difference of two squares, that's x plus 3, x minus 3. And then the numerator, really all we can do here is factor out the greatest common factor. We can divide these both by x, and so we've got it factored. So again, if you need help with factoring, check out that video I did about all the different types of factoring. It's called Learn How to Factor. But now this is kind of the fun part, and so what you can do is you can reduce top and bottom, or on the diagonals, top and bottom. So x plus 5 and x plus 5, those are the same, those cancel. We've got x plus 3 and x plus 3, those are the same, those cancel. And that's really all that we can do. That's all the same, all the factors that are the same in the top and bottom. So at this point, we multiply the numerators together, but you don't have to really foil it out. Usually your teacher will just say leave it in factored form. So that's x times x minus 4. And then denominator, we have x minus 5 times x minus 3. And that's our final answer, and we've got it. Okay, so let's go to another example, number two. Now this one we're actually dividing. Now you probably remember when you worked uh, with fractions earlier in math, the keep it, change it, flip it way of remembering how to divide. And what that means is you know you keep the first fraction the same, you change this to multiplication, and you flip the second fraction. The other way students oftentimes remember it is dividing is like multiplying by the reciprocal. Okay, so either way, keep it, change it, flip it, or multiply by the reciprocal to keep the first one the same. First step though is to factor, right? So I'm gonna factor the numerator. That's x minus seven, x plus two, right? The denominator we can factor out in x as a greatest common factor. I'm gonna change this to multiplication. I'm gonna put the three x squared in the numerator now. Okay, so I'm flipping this. I'm gonna factor the denominator. So the denominator factors to, let's see, this would be um, negative three, positive two, because see, negative three x and positive four x adds up to the middle term, which is one x. Okay, so now all we have to do is reduce, right? So we can see that we've got x plus 2 in the numerator, cancels with x plus 2 in the denominator. This x here cancels with one of these x's here. So I'm just going to change this to a 1, okay, 3x to the first. And that's really all we can do. So now we're going to uh, write this out. We've got 3x times x minus 7. And again, I'm just leaving it in factored form. And the denominator, I'm just multiplying across x minus 4 times 2x minus 3. Now, I just want to address a question that I know some students have in their mind right now, and that's that, you know, Mario, how come I can't just reduce this x with like this x? And that's a, that's a good question. Now, you can only do this reducing when the factors are multiplied together and you're canceling top and bottom. That's really like dividing. Multiplying and dividing are inverses of each other. Here you can see like this is 3 times x, but this is x minus 4. You know, uh, here you're multiplying, and here you're dividing, but you can see these are really not multiplied together. You know, if this was like four times x, then we could reduce top and bottom, you know, the, the two x's. But here you can see that we're actually subtracting, and you know, division and subtraction, they're not inverses of each other. Okay, so that's important to pay attention to. So this is our answer for number two. Number three, see if you can do this one. We've got x cubed minus eight, okay, over x plus one times x squared minus x over four x squared minus 16. This one is a difference of two cubes, so let's see if we can do that over here. This is gonna be x minus two x squared plus two x plus four, okay? And then let's see, this denominator, we really can't factor, so that's just x plus one. And then uh, this one we can factor out in x, so that's gonna be x times x minus one. And then this one we can uh, actually factor out a four first, so if we factor out a 4, you can see we have x squared minus 4. And then this is really like a difference of two squares, x plus 2, x minus 2, and we bring down the 4. So let's put all that over here in the denominator, x plus 2, x minus 2. Okay, so that was the tough part, really. So now this is the easy part and kind of the fun part. We can reduce uh, top and bottom. So we've got x minus 2 cancels with x minus 2. And what else do we have? Anything else? That's about it, so uh, that's all we can really do. So in this case, we just have x squared plus 2x plus 4 times x, I'll put the x in front here, and then x minus 1, and then this is all over 4 
times x plus 1 and x plus 2. So this one really didn't reduce down uh, too much.